How'd you like to pal around with the president of the United States like that? That is uh, Terrence K. Williams. And I haven't seen the president do too many poses like that. Terrence K. Williams, a conservative comedian. Hey, it's not all fun and games. Take a look at this picture. A deep, soulful moment in the cabinet room. There's Terrence on the right there. Um, that is really an intense moment. We'll ask him about that in a moment. You want to check out his book, From the Foster House to the White House. Terrence K. Williams uh, had quite the childhood in foster care. Uh, hey, Terrence, welcome back to Newsmax. How are you, pal? Man, I am doing great because it is always great to be back on Newsmax with you, the best, Greg Kelly. Wow. Hey, Terrence, appreciate it so much. So, uh, Terrence, a couple of, you know, I, we actually haven't talked about that photograph. You in there, Diamond and Silk, I noticed, some other folks praying with the president, and more than just praying, really, that's a moment of communion. What was that all about? You know, so we were uh, we were at the White House. Uh, I think it was uh, in February of uh, 2019. It was it was so great. It was so great. Uh, but it was awesome to be sitting by the greatest president of all times, Donald J. Trump. I mean, I, I was on cloud nine. But you know, we were praying. We were praying for our president. You know, not only did President Trump fight for America, this man had to fight for his life. Seriously, he was fighting for America at the same time fighting for his life because the Democrats tried to ruin his life. You know, he sacrificed everything to uh, uh, to be president and to put America first. So, you know, we had to pray for him. For him. He needed it. Yeah, you know, you're right. Uh, a lot of folks, uh, they gain a lot when they become president. He lost a lot in business, um, popularity even. So he really did pay a price. Hey, Terrence, tonight on TV, ABC is running something. It's called Soul of a Nation. We got the trailer all queued up. It's tonight at 7 o'clock, and they're going to play it, I think, one hour a week for the next six weeks. Here's a taste. Soul of a Nation. We think America's finally ready for this. Revolutionary. A show by black people for all people about the black experience in America. Unfiltered. Breath of fresh air. So much humor. Tuesday night on ABC. It will be powerfully great. So. So. Of a nation. Of a nation. So of a nation. All right, 10 o'clock. Sorry about that. Um, all right. I, uh, I watched that thing twice. I still don't know really what it's all about. Um, do you? I'm going to tell you what it is about, okay, Greg? Th this is not about the soul of a nation. They are going to divide the nation with this TV show. That is exactly why, why they are doing this. It is to... Pro Listen, they're trying to keep racism alive. This is going to be a show about bashing the white man, blaming the white man. That is what this show is going to be all about. It. I'm not watching it. <laughs> now, listen, you see they had, I mean, all the black people in there, but they didn't have me in there. You know why? Because I, I don't get down with that foolishness, and, and, and I don't play the, 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 the victim role. So, you know, they didn't cast me for this TV show. You know, I didn't, I didn't fit the description. Well, Terrence, there's money to be made here. I don't know if you heard. They're talking about <laughs> reparations in this show. Yeah. Look, slavery was a grievous, grievous sin. It happened. But now they think that somehow America can make up for it by paying money to those who are not even the descendants of slaves. Uh, here's Barack Obama talking about it on a podcast with Bruce Springsteen, of all people. So if you ask me, theoretically, are reparations justified? The answer is yes. What I saw during my presidency was that the politics of white resistance and resentment, the talk of welfare queens and the talk of the undeserving poor and the backlash against affirmative action, all that made the prospect of actually proposing any kind of coherent, meaningful reparations program struck me as politically not only a non-starter, but potentially counterproductive. 
You know, he says very simple things, but he says them very, very slowly. So it seems like it's more interesting and significant. It's just a bunch of hateful stuff, in my opinion. But Terrence, please, what do you think? Greg, don't do that to me again. Listening to Obama made me sick to my stomach. Please don't do that again. That man talks so slow. But reparations is a joke. People who want reparations don't want a job. They don't want to work. Get a job. You were not a slave. You were not a slave. If you were born in the 60s, the 70s, the 80s, the 90s, the, the, uh, the, uh, you were born in, in 1930, uh, 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 you were not a slave. I mean, slavery was so long ago. You know, you were not a slave. Don't, America does not owe anybody reparations, okay? People just need to go get a job, get stand in line and get a job. People just want handouts. That's all it is, Greg. These people want handouts. They were, listen, some of these people work at Walmart. I've never heard of a slave working at Walmart getting paid, you know, every two weeks. Come on now. These people want reparations because they don't want to work anymore, you know? You know, it's, it's interesting, though. I've only heard people like, I've only heard elites talk about reparations. And you tell me, Terrence, I mean, is this conversation happening in the community? I mean, are, are regular people talk? I, I've heard... Where have I heard this talked about seriously? By Barack Obama in a podcast, you know, and uh, I think on uh, the CBS Morning Show. I don't know if anyone else is realistically talking about this. Oh, and AOC and Bernie, I forgot. Uh, but, okay, the elites are talking about it. Are regular people talking about it? You know what? I don't hear any of my cousins talking about this, and I have some very liberal cousins, and none of them talk about reparations, okay? And they all know that they need to get a job. They have to work. They have to get a job if they want money. You know, uh, I think majority of Americans just want a job and they want to get paid title to everything. Those are the people who don't want to get off the couch and work. You know, we have came so... Listen, we have come so far in this country, okay? Slavery is over. Nobody living today was a slave. Nobody living today was a slave, okay? Yeah. So nobody... We don't owe anybody reparations at all. Uh, we agree.